Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 18 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to skip lines while copying data using skip line count option in copy activity of ADF pipeline. So let's see everything in details. So when your requirement is to copy data from delimited text file in ADLS or blob storage, to some other location then you have the option to skip line count in the source setting where you can specify the number of rows starting from the top that you don't want to load it in the sync file so basically skip line count option skips some specified number of non-empty rows from the top while copying data from source file to the sink. So when it says non-empty rows means when you have some empty rows in the file at the start, it will not be considered when you use this skip line count. So we will see this in practical as well. So we will see everything in demo. So let me go to Azure portal and let me show you the input file. So in my ABC container, I have two files. One is file1.csv and another one is file2.csv. For file1.csv, you can see this is the uh, content of the file. Okay, so here we have some dummy records at the top. Okay, so we have three lines as you can see. Uh, the first line says this is, second line says my CSV file and third line says I want to skip few lines from this file. And after that, we have the column header in the fourth line. And after that, we have five lines of records. Okay. So basically, we want to skip these three lines from the top while we copy data to output container. So I have this output container called ABC output container where we don't have any file right now. And uh, once we copy this file to the uh, container, we want that these three lines of uh, rows will be skipped. Okay. And similarly, we have another file that is file2.csv. So I have some duplicate tabs open. So in this case as well, we want to remove these three lines of dummy data. But the only difference is here we have the column header at the top and here we have the column header in the uh, fourth line. Okay. So let's try to achieve this uh, for file1.csv first. So let me go to ADF portal and here let me start creating the pipeline and let me simply drag this copy data activity in the pipeline canvas. Okay. And in the source, let me create the data set pointing to file1.csv. So I'm selecting ADLS Gen 2 and file format will be delimited text and I'm selecting the existing link service and I'm na navigating to abc container and file1.csv so let it load so here i am selecting file1.csv and i am not going to import any schema and let this first row as header be unchecked itself and let me click on ok so our source data set is ready if i preview the data you can see it is giving the same data that we have in the file1.csv ok and here if you closely observe we do not have any other column apart from id if you see the source file uh, we have id name quantity and sales but in uh, preview data we are not able to see all those columns the reason is it is treating the schema as only one column because the first row if it if you see uh, it is having this is Okay, it is not a uh, proper schema uh, from the first line. So uh, in CSV data, what happens is it will it will treat the schema based on the first line or the first row. Okay, so it is thinking that it is only having one column because the first uh, row is having only one column. It is not having any comma because CSV means comma separated value. And since the first line does not have any comma, it is treating the schema to be having only one column. Okay. So now what we will do is we will use skip line counts option to skip three lines from the top. And then let me preview the data now. So you can see it is able to skip these three lines because now since we have skipped these three lines, this fourth row is being treated as the first row. And we are seeing that there are uh, few comma separated values. And this is what is being treated as the schema for this file now. Okay. So 
we are good at the source level let me create sync data set pointing to same adls gen2 storage account and let me select csv format and let me uh, select the existing link service and for the output uh, let me select this abc output container and i'm not going to import any schema let me click on ok and let me just mention the file name as output file file one dot csv okay so we are good so let me hit on debug and let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed so it's in progress let's wait yeah so copy data execution is completed let's go to output container and let me hit on refresh yeah so output file one dot csv has been generated let's check the content so you can see now uh, the three lines from the top has been skipped because we have given three as the skip line count value okay and all the other rows are as it is from the file as you can see we have five rows in the in in the input file one dot csv and we have five rows in the output file one dot csv as well so we are good now we have to perform the same thing for file two dot csv the only challenge here is we have the column header at the beginning that is in the row one okay and after that we have these lines that we want to skip okay so let's see how to do that so here this time i will point my source data set to file 2.csv so let me just uh, change this as file 2.csv okay and let me preview the data once so here you can see in row 1 we have id name quantity and sales and after that we have these three lines that we want to skip okay so uh, if we treat this first row as header and then if we skip these three lines let's see what happens so let me here check this first row as header option and let me first preview the data here in the data set level so now you can see these uh, column headers are being treated as the column names okay earlier we were getting prop 0 prop 1 prop 2 prop 3 because those were the auto generated property names or column names coming in the csv if you do not check this first row as header option okay now if we try to skip these three lines let's try let me go to source settings and here in the skip line count we have three lines uh, defined and here let me preview the data so you can see it is not behaving as expected we were expecting that it will treat this as the column header and then it will uh, skip these three lines and then we will get the content like uh, this output file right but this is not happening for file 2 what is happening is it is skipping these three lines first it is not uh, considering this as the column header first the priority goes to the skip line count and then whatever is the leftover data out of that it will treat the first row as header and then it is treating only one column as the schema because here we do not have any comma separated values so it is thinking that in the file we have only one column and that's why it is only taking id uh, in the next rows okay so it is not having other uh, properties as you can see name quantity sales are missing here in the uh, preview data okay for file 2.csv so now what we can do is we need to implement the workaround by skipping all these four lines because it's not considering this as the column header it will skip the lines starting from the first row itself okay so instead of trying to skip these three lines from between we will try to skip all these four lines and then we we will try to uh, create these column headers after skipping all these four lines okay so uh, first of all let me uh, try to uh, remove this three and let me give four as the skip line count and let me preview the data so now you can see four lines uh, that is including the column header and uh, uh, including these dummy data have been skipped and we are getting only five rows out of which the first row is being treated as header so let me uh, open this data set again and let me remove this first row as header 
and let me preview the data again so now you can see we are getting prop 0 prop 1 prop 2 prop 3 okay so these are being uh, treated as the column name and we are getting five rows so now what we will do is we will try to uh, rename these column names as was there in the input file okay so we will create a new file so let me go to sync settings now and here let me give new file name as output file 2.csv and since in the source we are treating prop 0, prop 1, prop 2, prop 3 as the column names that we want to rename. So in the sync setting as well, let me uh, give this first row as header so that we can rename in the uh, sync settings. Okay. So now let me go to mapping and here let me import the schema. So now you can see. So here we simply need to rename these column names in the destination. So let me give the column name as uh, ID name quantity and sales okay so first one will be ID then name then quantity and then sales right let me cross check yeah so we are good now let me hit on debug and let's wait for the new file to be generated in the output container so till now we just have output file 1.csv so let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed Yeah, so copy data execution is finished. Let me go to output container and let me hit on refresh. So now you can see output file 2 got generated. Let's check the content. Yeah, so it is coming as expected. If I open the output file 1.csv, it is having the same content. Okay, so let me just do a quick recap what we did in case of file 1 and file 2. So in case of file 1, this was an easy task because the lines that we have to skip is present in the top. Okay. And this skip line count only works for the rows from the top. Okay. So it has two limitations. First one is it will only work for the rows from the top, which means you cannot skip the rows in between. Okay. And after that, the second one is it will only work for non empty rows. Okay. So we will see this as well. But for now, you can just understand that in file one, we had these rows in the top that we wanted to skip. So we just simply gave this skip line count as three and it copied the leftover data in the sync. OK, but in case of file two, we had to remove these dummy lines from between. So what we did is we removed all these lines, including the column header, and we explicitly renamed the auto generated names in the sync that is prop 0, prop 1, prop 2, prop 3 as ID name, quantity and sales in the mapping tab. Okay, so we are good. Now what I will do is in file1.csv, let me have some empty rows here. I'm just giving four empty lines at the top and let me hit on save. And in the pipeline, let me point this source to file1.csv and let me point this sync to output file uh, empty dot csv let me remove first row as header from both uh, data sets and in the pipeline let me go to mappings and let me clear this so what we are trying to do is we are trying to skip only these uh, empty rows okay so for that let me uh, give skip line count as four and let's check if it works for empty rows as well or not okay So let's wait for the pipeline execution. Yeah, so pipeline execution has finished. Let me go to output container. Let me hit on refresh. And here output file empty has been generated. Let's check the content. So here you can see instead of removing only these empty lines, it considered the data to be uh, this non empty uh, rows and it skipped the top four rows from the non-empty data set okay so it does not consider these empty rows to be skipped okay so we can conclude that the skip line count only works for the uh, lines to be skipped from the top and the other limitation is it does not consider the empty rows to be skipped okay so if you have such requirement to skip rows from middle of the file or 
uh, if you have to skip the empty rows then you can consider using data flow in ADF where you have lots of transformations available that will help to skip uh, rows in between and uh, also the empty lines of rows okay and the other thing is you can also parameterize this skip line count by using this add dynamic content so if you have to use the same copy activity for multiple files to be copied then you can simply uh, add this parameter like skip lines and you can uh, try to make it dynamic for multiple files okay so you can while debugging you can simply give if you have to uh, skip three lines or if you have to skip four lines okay so i hope you got the idea about skip line count option in copy activity so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you